Hello everyone and welcome once again to one of our ping sale tutorials. Today we're going to see how we can enable and disable a whitelist uh, while uh, preparing or creating a pre-sale. But not only that, we're also going to see how we can add or upload the addresses of the whitelist, uh, whitelisted people. How do we do that? It's very simple. So let's uh, start straight away. You might notice that I'm on a BSC testnet. Uh, the same uh, method, the same system works on mainnet as well. So we can create the pre-sale, of course. So either from here, create launchpad, or here, create launchpad. Uh, you can either uh, put your, your own token. I've already have one, of course, that I made earlier. It's the legendary baby pip. We're going to select that. We're going to approve it. We will confirm the transaction for it. And in just a few seconds, uh, we will be able to move forward to um, DeFi launchpad information. So this is where we're going to insert all the information for our pre-sale. So just one more, uh, one more uh, second or a couple of seconds. There you go, I can click on next. Let's do it. So pre-sale rate, how many baby pip tokens will an investor get if he spends one BNB? They will get 1,000. Right after I do that, I actually go here and do listing rate. How many uh, tokens will they get at listing on PancakeSwap? They will get um, 850 instead. Now here, whitelist, disable or enable. This is where I want to click on enable if I have a whitelist, okay? Now soft cap, let's do um, 50 BNB, hard cap 100, minimum buy uh, 0 0.01, uh, maximum buy 2, uh, refund type burn, that's fine, uh, pancake swap, liquidity, we're going to say 99%, because I'm a good dev. Um, select time to start tomorrow and uh, the day after tomorrow, after 24 hours, the pre-sale ends. Um, how long is the uh, liquidity going to be uh, locked in PancakeSwap? Uh, now it's going to be 250 uh, million seconds, uh, sorry, minutes. Um, now, in just one thing to bear in mind, uh, this is minutes because it's BSC testnet. Uh, in mainnet, this will be days. So please make sure that you um, don't, uh, don't make a mistake, okay? Now, we're not going to touch on uh, um, vesting for contributors or uh, vesting for uh, team tokens. There are other tutorials explaining those. Click on next, additional information, logo URL, uh, we'll just put uh, uh, some that I've already got. Okay, summary, uh, total tokens, baby peep, uh, blah, 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 here. This is the, the bit that uh, we're interested in. Sale method, whitelist only, okay? There you go. So that's all good, submit. Again, confirm the transaction just wait for the transaction to be uh, broadcast on the blockchain and then we can uh, move to our dashboard and this shouldn't take more than a few more seconds again here we are pool created successfully baby pip pre-sale this is my dashboard as the owner of uh, of uh, the project okay and if you look here, sale type, there, it's whitelist only, all right? So now let's, and it's also um, clicked on here. But now I have this long list of addresses of people that I have whitelisted. Uh, there might be people that uh, have helped me shield the project or they have participated in competitions. However, you got these addresses, but this is where you want to add them. So click on add users to whitelist. 
and you need to insert them here. It actually shows you how to do it. The easiest way is to use Excel or Numbers if, uh, if you're using a Mac. But Excel um, formatting is the best. And I just happen to have some addresses here. So let's, let's say that I want to add, um, I don't know, about 50. That's fine. You can add up to 1,000, but it's just a copy and paste about 50 addresses at the time or a little bit more. Um, you click on Add Users. Again, confirm the transaction, always. It's the blockchain after all. And uh, after a few seconds, you're going to have your first um, lot or batch of addresses uploaded on uh, your dashboard. And uh, we see them here. So seven pages so far with 63 addresses. Now you saw that there were 70 before and now 63. The system automatically recognizes if there are uh, duplicates. Okay. Uh, but let's say that I've got more, more addresses. Well, do it again. Add users to whitelist. Same thing. Let's go back here. Let's say that my list is, I don't know, 1,000, 2,000 um, addresses. That's not a problem. Just keep doing this. So, okay, so copy. Come here, click, paste. Add users. Confirm the transaction. Wait a little bit longer for this transaction as well to, um, to be confirmed. And now I have more addresses here. 14 pages worth of addresses, 134. Let's say that I've got more, do it again. Add users to the whitelist. Uh, let's do a few more. Here you go. There should be enough just for um, to, to use an, uh, as an example. There, copy and paste, add users, confirm the transaction. And after this one, we'll just stop. But if you had, I don't know, 5,000 addresses, just keep doing that. You can insert 400, 500 at a time. It's not a problem. Okay. So now we have 20 pages worth of addresses, 193 addresses. Now, because this is sale type whitelist only, when my pre-sale starts tomorrow, only those people that have been whitelisted, only the 193 people here with their addresses here will be able to buy my baby pip, pip tokens. And that, that might be absolutely fine for my 100 BNB hard cap. But let's say that I've got a 1000 BNB hard cap or a 10,000 BNB. And uh, I've got a limited amount of whitelisted people that I want to be able to um, access the pre-sale first. But then I want the public to be able to buy the tokens. What do I do? Very easy. At any given time during the pre-sale, you can disable or enable the whitelist. So let's say that a half an hour has gone by, all the whitelisted people have bought in and now want to make it public. I simply go here and click on disable whitelist. So remember here, sale type whitelist only, click on disable whitelist, confirm the transaction. And as simple as that, you have opened up your pre-sale to the public. And this will be confirmed in a few seconds. There you go, sale type. It's not white list anymore, but it's public. And now everyone can buy my baby pip tokens. So remember guys, at any given time, you can, you can have white listed uh, people uh, for five minutes, 10 minutes, and then you can open up to the public. You can have a whitelist um, lasting half an hour, two hours. W whenever you want, you can just disable it here. Now, as far as the actual whitelist, you saw me adding three batches. 
So let's say that you have different tiers uh, for um, whitelisted people. You got tier number one, they were the um, uh, private investors or the ones that uh, helped you uh, most uh, to shield the project. Well, you can um, add those people, that first batch, give them five, 10 minutes to buy, and then you can add the second batch and then you can add the third batch and so forth. So all of a sudden you, you also have uh, the, the possibility to have tiers for your whitelist, which is a great tool um, if you ask me. So this is how simply um, on Ping Cell we can enable or disable a whitelist. Um, and of course, um, if you have any questions, guys, please watch this video again. Um, and if, uh, if you still have questions, feel free to come to our Telegram channel and ask one of our mods. And we will be more than happy to, to help you and answer any doubts that you have.